Hey guys, welcome back to some more Paul screen and Ocarina of Time. <laughs> and you said you could beat this game in one pause screen? I mean, Taz can do it, yeah. Taz can do it in one pause screen? Yeah. Actually, a task can do it in zero pauses. Get on that task bot level. How the hell do you do that with... They glitch a lot of stuff. As you can imagine, since they can't equip the things they need to beat Ganon with, they just warp to the credits. I mean, makes sense. Yeah. I have freaking Skulltulas. Yeah, so that's the only one we really need to get here in Kakariko at this point, so that's our final bug here. So this area's cleared out. Now, time to leave. Kakariko's completely gold skulltula out. Yeah. That's the only one that's here as an adult, so that's very convenient. All the other ones you can get as a kid. A good chunk of them were only there as a kid anyway, so... Yeah, you're gonna be getting a lot of stuff there early game. Yeah. But as you've seen, when I had to get up to where that sculpture was located, I had to get really close to the edge of those rooftops to actually reach with the hookshot. That's my major complaint with the hookshot in this game. It's a very short reach, and the reason why they do it is because they want to break this item up into two separate items. Ow. So, the first version of this thing is pathetically short, just because they want to give the long shot a reason to exist. Man, that, that bow is lasting a long time. Oh, he really wants to kill Link. Holy crap, he won't go away. No, he, he's taunting you, like, don't you want to get- And, in fact, he got stuck in front of you, Pona, and it slowed me down. What a jerk. I'm just trying to go fast here. I need the bow for that. Yeah, as you can tell right now, my B button's blank, so if I just press it, nothing happens. Yeah, we're going to Lake Hylia. Yeah, a couple things we need what to do lake? here. Oh yeah, that's right, what lake? Because uh, in the future, lake for some reason uh, doesn't have water. Dang evaporation, global warming sucks. <laughs> now the real reason why is because to jump a little bit ahead in the story that there's an evil spirit in there that took over the water temple and that creature is draining the lakes of all its water. Once we kill the boss there then the water comes back. Well, yeah, remember this guy from seven years ago? No? Alright here let me play you a little tune maybe you'll remember me now. Play that song with it baby. Oh yeah, you just spun the stick. That's a thing. <laughs> you just spun the stick. That's bullshit. I mean, you can't make the scarecrow spawn anything you want. So. Yeah. Make it a remix of a song from Majora's Mask. Then you can really mess with your muscle memory. Can you make the song an actual song that's in game? No, it would actually lock you out of doing that. You can play him a normal song, and it will just activate that instead of your scarecrow. Even when you're trying to uh, make your Scarecrow song in front of Pierre like that, it won't work. It'll just play the other song instead. To be fair though, none of the songs in this game are eight notes, so it won't overlap the Scarecrow song in that regard. But you can't use the same notes. So you can't use like Zelda's Law by the, you know, open up your Scarecrow and then play down for the rest of it. It won't work. Uh oh, did we fishing. Do, did we do fishing in Chess Child? Yeah, we did. So now it's time to do it again as, a, as an adult, because now there's something new here. Oh, the one time I used the whole freaking stream? I mean, it, it's kind of a pain check in this game, because fishing as an adult is really, really difficult, because you need to catch a pretty big fish here. And the problem is, there's really only like one good fish that works for this, and it's out in the middle of the lake. And at this point, you need to catch a fish, I believe, like over 12 pounds, which is pretty big. And they fight a lot. The heavier they are, the more of a fight they give. I think mine was like 19. One. Yeah, yours was really big. So I hope you guys like fishing, because uh, we're going to be doing a lot of fishing. Going to take like, a nice Sunday afternoon, the catch me some bass. With my help from Big the Cat. Oh, you're playing, uh -oh. You're playing Bass Pro Fishing. <laughs> it's like Link's Bass Pro Fishing. I mean, you gotta have a use for that peripheral at some point. Oh, it's it's this big the cat. Yeah, I was wondering if you're gonna notice the change of the song. 
It's the big the cat thing from Sonic Adventure. Oh my gosh, Lester. You gotta embrace your inner big. I mean, this is a really good, catchy song, but uh, I hope you like hearing it because we're gonna be hearing it for the next three minutes. Because Dang it, uh, fishing as adult is the worst thing because these things fight you so much they will get so close to the end of your line and then they'll snap it. So when this happens, if you want that same fish again, you're gonna want to reset the area by leaving and come back, pay the guy 20 more rupees, and try again. And it's kind of a pain. Not gonna lie. It's the worst part of this game, really. Yeah, fishing is all luck based, really. Like you can do your best here and have a good strategy coming in to pull in the fish and know where to go, but the fish can fight you and just decide it doesn't want to be on your line anymore and just leave. But Lester, did you go for the Highland? You want to see me here for another like six hours? Yes. I've never actually caught it, so it'll probably be longer than that. <laughs> to be fair, the highly Loach has zero purpose in this game. If you catch it, then your reward is just 50 rupees, so you're literally just doing that for bragging rights. And in order to even actually catch it easier, you need to catch both fish as a kid and adult to get both of the prizes here. Because as soon as you get both of the prizes, you can hug these walls and then the Seeking Lure shows up, which is a special lure that will sink under the water. You talk to uh, the fisherman over there in the corner, you tell him, hey, I got this, and he'll allow you to use it, which means any fish you catch with the lure, he'll now accept. Otherwise, he'll just throw it out. He won't care. And that's really the only way you can catch a Hylian Loach, because the Hylian Loach rests on the bottom of the lake, and a normal fishing lure can't reach it. In Twilight Princess, they have a picture of the fishing guru here in Hina's fishing area. And the thing is, it's really funny. Hina's really stingy about that damn stinky sinking lure. Yeah. She says if he catches you with that, she throws it away, saying oh, you're yeah. a cheater. Yeah, she hates and it. And it's funny because the guy that she has a picture of saying, oh, he was such a good fisherman, he used it. Yeah. He used it to catch a highly loach. <laughs> like, come on, you're such a stickler to it, but then you you praise this one dude that uses it, and like, come on, that, that, that's a pretty big hypocrite right there. I just thought that was funny. If the girl can use it, I can use it too. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank goodness. We can finally get wow, our, we can finally get our a, a rank emblem. We can do this now. Where's Froggy? Froggy, where are you? You know, after all that, why didn't Link just like how big doesn't do this? Why doesn't he just think of reaching out and just grabbing the fish? <laughs> you can swim in the water. Just stab it with the Master Sword. Just tell this guy to look the other way and get it. I would have laughed if you accidentally said no to the fish. Yeah, because that can happen if you mash. You won't keep it. Nah. Gold oh, yeah, scale. you catch a big enough fish here, you get the gold scale. Which, honestly, is not really helpful at all. It's an optional thing. Gives you access to two heart pieces. That's it. <laughs> You're trying to catch his hat. Yeah, I, I kind of want to show that. Bald! 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 Bald. It's just more like a crew cut, but yeah, over the seven years, he's starting to have a little bit of hair loss issues, and he's pretty insecure about it, so that's why he wears a hat. <laughs> what happens if you say no? He gets angry. It's like, well, okay, then I don't like you anymore. He doesn't really penalize you. You can throw his hat in the water, and then he's mad. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? I like that hat. <laughs> Time to go fishing for a hat. That's what you get for making me get a bigger whopper. <laughs> yeah, really. I mean, come on. I'm not a fan of the big whoppers. I just want to take a dollar menu whopper. <laughs> and a large Diet Coke. Watch my weight. <laughs> so now that we know the Scarecrow song, we used it to gain access to the fishing pond earlier than they wanted. Because they want you to swim over there, but, you know, Scarecrow spawn, might as well hookshot it. And here, same deal. You're supposed to use a bean to get on top of this uh, house, but if you have Scarecrow Song, you can hookshot the Scarecrow instead. Which I rather Yeah. Do. Makes it easier. Likewise. Get out of my oh, life. Boy. That thing is the worst thing, because you'll be climbing this ladder, you'll be at the very top, snipes you, you fall all the way back down. Guilty. Gotta play your Scarecrow Song again. Well, no, the, the Scarecrow stays there, but you have to climb all the way back up, which is really annoying. <laughs> How is he still walking after that? Yeah, really. 
Here's like the only real use of gold scale. Well, no, we'll talk to him later. When I first dive in this pool. This is the only real use for gold scale because you can come here later with an item called iron boots and sink down to the bottom of the water. But you won't trigger the reward by doing so. You need to dive to the bottom of the lake. Although it is kind of interesting because all it looks for for activating this heart piece is for Link's feet to be touching the bottom of the lake there without wearing iron boots. So you can dive down there with iron boots, take out your hookshot, hookshot your way over to the wooden box down there. And while you're hookshotting over, take off your iron boots. The game will count as you touch the bottom without the boots, which gives you the heart piece. So this is why basically gold scale is useless. Just because of that glitch. I mean, randomizers now just don't care about it. I'd say a waste of time. Yeah, kind of is. And you want to be honest. But we need for 100% completion. Yeah, if only you had the bow, you could get the pose right now. Yeah, we'll have to be doing that later. Now I'm just going to park my horse here. Fine. I already need her. She's not nearly as fast as just bombs. Sorry, Pona. <laughs> Sorry, Pona. Bomb slide's the way to go. I gotta go 88 miles per hour. You see those, like, feet hurts, the arrow fire? Yeah, my feet hurt after that, but trust me, I'm going fast. <laughs> what feet after that? Yeah, really. So, because I need to give the gold scale a purpose in life, we're going to use it to get this heart piece as well. You don't need the gold scale for this, you can use iron boots, but, uh... There's no other time we're going to be able to use the gold scale for this kind of diving purposes. Might as well. And you press tech tech. Yay! Another heart container. You see this tech tech? I got a heart, and you yeah. don't. <laughs> see tech tech? <laughs> Somebody loves me. <laughs> and it's not you. And it's not you. Ah, screwed it up. <laughs> Fine. I have another, like, 36. Whee! <laughs> so funny. It's so useful. As soon as I learned about this glitch, it's like, all right, well, now I have a new way to transport myself around the field because this is so fast. This is a big open field, and a lot of it doesn't have anything really to do. That was the biggest complaint about Hyrule Field for years. It's that it's very big, but there's nothing really here to explore. Which I can kind of get looking at nowadays, but when you start playing a randomizer, you realize that, yeah, there's a little more to do because of the hidden grottos in the area. So there's a couple extra things you can explore and find secrets. Lester, while you were bomb sliding there, that Pope came out, looked at you, and then dove into the range to hide. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's going too fast, I'm gonna hide away. Going too fast. So there's monsters in Kokiri Forest. Yeah, this place changed a decent amount in seven years. Now everything wants to kill you. Kind of stepped up the security. They don't want anyone other than Kokiri in here, and they really want to show for it. So anyone who comes in here is not Kokiri, you must die now. Give me my gold skull chula. That's the last one I needed here, so this area's cleared out of bugs. Oh, who put this plant in front of my house? I didn't ask for this. <laughs> there, there was nothing there to hook on. I hookshot the ladder, but this guy said no. Oh, Lester, somebody spent time watering the plant and you just destroyed it. I didn't want to plant it there. That's like playing poison ivy in front of your house. It's unnecessary. <laughs> so remember a couple parts ago, we did a horse race and Malin told us she gave us a prize that won't be able to just be handed to us, delivered to our house. Yeah, the price was somehow a cow. I don't know how she fit this in our house. How'd she get it up the ladder? <laughs> Moo! I guess while I'm here, I might as well get me some milk. I'm a little thirsty. I was just caught. Should I be concerned? The cow is freaking talking. And he's going, yes! <laughs> milk! <laughs> oh, drink up. Those milk commercials back in the 90s told me this was a good thing. <laughs> Got milk? You guys remember those commercials where Link just stared in the camera, talked to you, and just drank milk from the bottle? Those were some weird they times. They got a milk bunch that says, Got milk? Yeah. I miss those commercials, to be honest. Yeah, the days where commercials back then made more sense than, let's just 
put like loud flashing noises and lights and commercials just because we're weird and getting your attention. Back then, commercials were actually entertaining to watch. Now just distracting. Because if it's activated. Yeah, so we're going to be doing something a little fancy here because I need to go into the Deku Tree because there is a sculpture there you can get once you have bombs and boomerang. But I don't want to go back as a child. You can't enter the Deku Tree as an adult. His mouth is shut. I don't know who shut that mouth in seven years. It must have been really strong. But there is a way to get into the Deku Tree as an adult. We're basically trying to enter the back way here where we're trying to unload his graphics so we can just walk in the loading zone. So uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of bomb hovering here. Infinite sword glitch, you jump when bombs explode, you get stuck in the air, which allows you to just fly upwards. So I hope you like looking at Link's butt here for a little bit. Not the best camera angle. Oh my god. <laughs> Clipping. Molly didn't like that. Molly she didn't like it. <laughs> so if you enter this area in a certain point, then it will transition over to a new area with graphics, but we skipped the loading trigger for the graphics, so now we can just walk and you'll see Link here hop for a second. Just like that. We just jumped over the closed mouth for Decker Tree, and here we are. We're inside of him. What as an adult, you're not supposed to be able to do this. Which actually causes some issues because Adult Link can't fit through the grottos here, so I have to take the long way to get over to this wall because I can't fit through a tiny hole anymore. I'm too big. Wow. She's saying, I can fit through the tiny hole. <laughs> I can fit through the tiny hole. I'm, I'm small like Young Link. That's the whole reason why I did that little glitch. It's just because of one bug. I didn't want to go child. Technically, at this point, we can't even go child yet because the cutscene we seen with she standing in front of the pedestal all the time, she was talking about, you need to go save the forest spirit. She will stay there until you actually complete forest temple. She won't budge. Like, nope, not moving. You can't put down your sword, which is a roadblock if you need to go back and do stuff as child for a bit. Molly, stop talking. <laughs> just really wants to be part of the video. Like, I'm here too. Like, I'm here too. I can go through the crawl spaces. Right, Molly? We save Molly. Oh, yeah. oh, hey, look, it's this guy. I'm mad. You cheat me out as a kid. It's time for my seven years of revenge. Can you <laughs> actually kill Skull King? Are you serious? They still don't let me stab you. He's kind of a pain to hit, as you can see. But you can actually do damage to Skull Kid here. And now Termina is saved. No wonder he gets mad at Majora's Mask. What'd you do to him? He held 200 rupees. I needed those 200 bucks. He gypped me 10 rupees as a kid. Now I need to take, you know... 200 from him. That makes sense. I gotta get back with interest. <laughs> <laughs> My interest was pretty high in seven years. There, Mido. Get the hell up and get out of my way. I'm bigger than you now. You can literally just push him now. <laughs> yeah. Or we could just backflip over him because that's a thing you can do here. Well, I'm doing SP called Mido Skip Skip. We do it intended and play Saria's song. <laughs> Might have skipped skip. That melody? Dead song? Wait, how do you know that song? It's not like it's playing this forest for all of eternity. She never stops singing. Yeah, you always hear it. Even when she's captured, you still hear it. Mido still doesn't get it that you were you were actually like. Yeah, really. Jump ahead a little bit in the story here. The only Kokiri that knows that you're not actually a Kokiri is Saria. Everyone else won't recognize you because Kokiris are supposed to be kids forever. Link's the only one that's an adult because he's not really a Kokiri. He's a Hylian. But none of them know that. So, adult Link here is just a stranger to the kids. Here we are in Sacred Forest Meadow, and I really don't feel like doing this maze, so we're uh, we're just gonna summon our friend Pierre here and just use him as a stepping stone. <laughs> Did you know you could do that? No, I didn't. Yeah, there's a bunch of moblins down there, and they hurt. I don't want to deal with that. I'm just gonna walk over them. This is intended. 
Not even a glitch. It's like, you, you, you can do this. It's a, it's a nice little shortcut. And it's nice because it gets us to a sculpture that's a pain to hit. I swear, hit detection's wonky in this game. Of course, it's an old N64 game, Lester. Yeah. There you go. That's another bug, which I do believe that completes the Lost Wood area now in general. So we have all the bugs here. And here's a giant moblin. Big old club. Just stab him in the kneecaps a couple times. He's fine. <laughs> Gave me 20 bucks. You can either drop one red rupee or three blue rupees. Ow. But we're going to enter Saria's little domain here with style. Gotta go fast. Yee. And just watch this cutscene. This cutscene's hilarious. You're not supposed <laughs> to be able to move in this cutscene, but trust me, it gets better. Oh no, the stump's empty. Where'd the Saria go? Oh, hi, Sheik. Now time to walk up to nothing. <laughs> it's just like, are you invisible? Nah, I'm here. I'm just stuck. <laughs> Wait, where you going, Sheik? Okay, bye. <laughs> bye! <laughs> so how this cutscene's supposed to play out, if you don't bomb slide in here like I do, is that Link stands ne <laughs> I forgot he stands there in the corner. Link's supposed to be standing in front of the stump, looking at it, and then Saria walk- or not, uh, Sheik walks up to where Saria would be originally, and then stop. Because Link isn't there, Saria just walks out of bounds. She's gone now. Time to play the song from there and over here. Oh my gosh. Unfortunately, I can't play the song with my shield up, so we kind of have to break the illusion. Lester, I didn't know your shield was your ocarina. But I don't like to do a duet, so now we're just gonna play a single here. Because Sheik's supposed to be here playing the song with me. Ah, uh, she gone. Yeah, Ooh. she just left the building. Yeah. She's tired of your glitches. Which makes this next portion really confusing. Who said that? What flash? <laughs> there was nothing there. <laughs> there was nothing there all along. Oh, what there. a weird fever dream. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess it's Shannon or Forest Temple now. The weird voice in my head told me so. Let's just go here.